What do you think about subscribe? $9.99 per month with games at $50. Console prices announced? I'm so disappointed. If I already have a game on Steam, do I have to buy on Stadia as well? Now these are just some of the questions that people still have about Stadia and I find it really confusing but the other day as I was reading through these and trying to help people out, trying to give them answers, I, I kind of realized that the reason that so many people are still confused about what Stadia is and how Stadia works is because of the people that are actually reporting on it. Now I'm talking about big sites that should know what they're talking about, yet they seem to have no idea how Stadia is going to work, even though they've got plenty of other references to take from it. So in today's video, we're going to be trying to just look at a few stories that I found that I found rather odd. And uh, I just wanted to try to clear up some of the confusion and also answer any questions that you guys might have. So if you have any other questions, leave those down in the comments section and I'll do my very best to go ahead and answer those for you. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is this article from The Sun. Now, this was written in uh, June 2019, June 28th, 2019. And the headline itself is, is kind of what upset me. It says Google Stadia will charge full price for games and make you pay to play them. So, of course, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out each one of these articles that I'm pulling from. I'm just going to be pulling small little parts of it that kind of confuse me as to why they would go ahead and announce things this way on their articles. So in this particular article, we're gonna go ahead and just start from the beginning and just go down about a paragraph or two. It says, the tech giant has now revealed that you're going to be paying the same price for games on Stadia as on normal consoles, even though you won't actually get to keep them, which is not necessarily true. As long as Stadia is available, they will be yours, even though you are streaming them. The thing is you won't have a physical copy or you won't need to download a digital copy of the game, but you will be able to keep them on your account just like you would any other type of service. After that, they go on to say, you also have to shell out $8.99 per month, which is, I don't even know what that is, pounds or something like that. But in America, it's going to be $9.99 per month as a fee to be able to play the games in the same quality you'd get on a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Now, again, that's considering whether or not you have a 4K TV already. There's still a lot of people that don't. That means while you've got a lower initial cost, Stadia will end up costing you more in the long run before you factor in the games. Unlike other consoles where you buy a copy of the game to run at home, on Google you just buy the right to stream the game from Google servers as long as it's there, which is actually true. You won't be able to buy games in shops taking advantage of special offers or price cuts in big sales. I don't really get where they get that from. Even if you go all digital, you can always pick up sales. It's the same thing as Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Whenever there's sales, you get those as well. Whenever there's gonna be sales on Stadia, you'll get those as well. So I don't really know where that comes in. After that, they go on to say that many had hoped these differences would mean Stadia game prices would be lower than you'd pay on Xbox One or PS4, but Google has shot that down. I don't understand why people initially thought that games would be cheaper on Stadia just because you're streaming them. Now, yes, uh, you don't have a physical disc, but for those of us that have already gone all digital, we haven't had discs in a long time and the prices is, is the same. And I think that there's a very good reason for that. It does not cost any more or less for people to continue to make games. There are hundreds of people that work on all the AAA games that you guys love and expect and enjoy. And why would Stadia be any cheaper? That would mean that, that would be less money for the company to actually make those games and all of those people are still working just as hard just as much why would they be cheaper that's just kind of a confusion on my part i don't understand why some people think that it should be cheaper when it still takes the exact same amount of resources the exact same amount of people they're still putting out the same quality as any other game so of course they're going to be the exact same price on the next article that we've got, it says that Google Stadia is a super confusing subscription based console. Now, right off the bat, that really irks me just because if you're a gamer, if you've been keeping up with this, you know that Stadia is not a console, but we will get into that as we get into the article. So the part that I'm going to be pulling from here uh, starts off with this. First up, let's talk about cost. Things get a bit messy here, so bear with us. Google will be selling hardware, it turns out, though they were very quick to say it wasn't a console period. Then it says the Stadia itself though will cost $119, which is remarkably cheap and a lot less than what we were expecting. Now, again, this is not a console. 
uh, I've actually seen a lot of people online thinking that Google is putting out a console. Whenever they say the Stadia itself, the Stadia does not exist. Stadia itself is a service. It's not a console. Now, yes, they are selling hardware for you to go ahead and get in with a Founders Edition, but the hardware is simply a Chromecast along with a controller. The Stadia itself, there is no Stadia box. There is no Stadia console. Stadia is a streaming service. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've skipped forward a little bit, but this is what, what I think makes things more confusing for people. It says in the article, there are two different subscription options though. Stadia Pro will open up 4K 60 FPS, HDR and 5.1 surround sound streaming to titles and will cost $9.99 a month. And then it goes on to say, this is where things get complicated though. The subscription will only give you access to a currently released library of games. If you want the pleasure of playing a new game, such as Doom Eternal, for example, in 4K, you will have to pay an extra cost to play the game. So the first thing I want to touch on here is that it says this subscription will only give you access to a currently released library of games. I don't like the wording of that. It kind of makes it seem like they're going to be giving you a list of games that are already available. That's not the case. They're going to be doing the same thing as PlayStation Plus, same thing as Xbox Live Gold with Games or Games with Gold, whatever it's called. They're going to be giving you a select title each and every month. Now, you get to keep those as long as you keep your subscription. Again, like Xbox, like PlayStation. And uh, of course, if you wanna buy brand new games, if you wanna play brand new games, of course you're gonna have to pay for those. Now, the other thing that, that kind of upsets me is that they say in the article that there are two different subscription options though, but then they only talk about Stadia Pro and they never mention the second option. So they don't ever mention the free version, which is the other option. And the free version is not a subscription based thing. It's free that's why it's called a free version of it but they they say that that there's two different subscription options and there's really not so this is part of why people are so confused as to what stadia might be now of course in this article as well they go ahead and they reference the netflix of games which is not what stadia is we'll have another follow-up video on that at some other point but these articles are what are confusing people and all of these sites are supposed to be the sites that that know tech that know what they're talking about that know video games yet they don't seem to understand how stadia is going to work i think the last one that we'll go ahead and touch on is that google stadia games will cost the same as full price console titles even if you're only streaming it now once again i've already kind of touched on this but of course, they're going to cost the same amount. And I'm just going based on the on the title of the article here. Once again, if you guys want to go ahead and read the full thing, you can go ahead and do that for yourself. But a lot of people just read the headlines of stories. They don't bother reading everything else. I have read through this and they do have some points. But whenever somebody just sees Google Stadia games will cost the same as full price consoles, even if you're if they're only being streamed. Yeah, people are going to have questions about that, not ever reading the full article or what it means. But once again, of course, Stadia games are going to cost the same amount as any other game you would buy on any other platform. They're still using the same amount of resources. They're still using the same amount of people. Those people have to get paid. They have to be able to provide for their families. So, of course, these games are going to be set at a regular price. Now, if anything, and I understand that people complain that games are too expensive. Games are the cheapest they've ever been. As much time and effort that goes into games, as long as the development cycle is, the graphics that go into games nowadays look spectacular, games should be much more expensive than they are right now. The fact that we're still paying $60 per game is actually kind of astounding. I'm surprised that it hasn't gone up yet. Now, of course, there are things that, that add more to the game. Of course, you can go ahead and buy the game at $60 a pop and then on top of that of course you can get the season passes you can go ahead and do loot boxes you can buy skins for characters in certain games there are other things that make games a little bit more expensive depending on how much time you want to put into them but the fact that games are still sixty dollars each is actually very surprising in my opinion and i know that people are going to complain about this still i understand sixty bucks is sixty bucks that's still quite a bit of money you can do some other things with $60, but the fact that they have stayed at this price for so long is actually pretty surprising. So I, I just don't understand just because you're streaming the game, again, the same thing as if you were just to download a game, it still costs the same amount of money to produce that game. So of course you're going to be paying the same price. Now, again, this is just something that I wanted to talk about, but there's still a lot of confusion as far as Stadia goes, how it's going to work, what it actually is, whether or not it's a console or a streaming service. And I, I feel like a lot of the reason 
that this confusion is out there is because of the big sites that should know better, that, that should know how these things work. The way that they're trying to word their articles just for the clicks, just for the views and stuff like that. So yes, we've already talked about what Google Stadia Pro is. We've talked about what Google Stadia Base is. We're gonna be covering all this stuff as we move along. If you guys have any questions or are still a little bit confused as to how Stadia is going to work, leave those in the comments down below. I just wanted to touch on this because I, I try to do as much as I can to give people the information that they need, but people are seeing huge sites. And of course those get the most views, they get the most clicks, but they're, they're wording things differently so that they go ahead and get the clicks. People go ahead and read them, but it's causing more confusion than what it should, in my opinion. So if you guys uh, just wanna talk about anything, you've got any questions for Stadia or anything like that, leave those in the comments down below. We're gonna continue covering this. Uh, it should be launching soon, early November. Very excited about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this or any of the other videos that I make, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and we will see you guys on the next video.